Hello everyone, Bork here. Um, I'm gonna show you how I did uh, recently, like yesterday, uh, got the Durotar, what is it called actually? The Durotar Supply and Logistic uh, faction to Friendly. And the reason why I wanted it to get to Friendly is because we are gonna get the runes uh, that you need for them. For me, for example, I'm, I'm getting the Everlasting Affliction. Which with the, my tanking spec is like so good. And we start off in Thunderbluff. And we're going to run to this Dwarven camp over here. Because there's like two ways you can get this. First of all, there can be a, like a, just a random chest spawning there. And uh, inside that one is going to be like one of the late, uh, way late supplies. And like every time I've been there, there has been one there. And if it's not there, well, there's going to be another way that we can do it. So let's just run over there and see how it goes. So fun fact, actually, with the everlasting, uh, everlasting affliction rune, I actually for the first time did the Black Fathom Death Depth raid yesterday, and I was actually main tank as a like this dude. So that was nice, um, and it was very fun actually, more fun than I would uh, thought. And I got two pieces of gear: the Twilight Invoker's shawl and the wand. So let's see, there's no... Okay, there's actually a chest here. So what you can do is just loot this chest if there's no one here. Let's see what's inside. So we got the uh, rough copper bomb. So that's one of them. Then you can just pick that up and run back to Thun Thunder Bluff. But I'm going to show you and like buy the materials. You can buy... the. I'm just babbling on right now. <laughs> but you can... Uh, there usually is a chest here. I don't think it can spawn any other places. Yeah, there there is usually like a chest here, like not a specific, like it more looks like a lockbox. And it it is locked, but if you just kill the mobs over here, gonna pull a few and see if we actually will make get one okay let's see if we get one okay we didn't get one there let's see Oh, we got one. Okay, so this one. Artifact storage key. So there... Oh, it's actually here now. Perfect. So if the chest is not there or anything, you can loot this one with the chest. With, with the key, I mean. Let's see what's inside. Brown linen uh, ropes. I'm going to check one thing out just to make sure that I got this right. Yeah. So by doing this method, you will go to friendly. But after that, uh, you, you're going to have to go for the higher ones. And I'm going to make a video on that later because I'm going to work, in, uh, work to get this one to honored as well. Because just to have it and also to get the tailoring pattern. But like once you got the uh, waylaid supplies, just run back to town. And uh, if the if you feel like the materials are too expensive, just turn it in like non like not of, as a full bag. But if you can afford it, just buy it because you're gonna get like what is it, three hundred, depending on which one it is. But this one, for example, I'm gonna get. Um, it says here on. Uh, if you if you Google Google on it, if I turn it in just like it is, you will get a hundred rep, reputation. But if you solve it, you will get four hundred and fifty of this one. So I might actually get a rep on this one, or maybe not. What does it say? Once you're friendly, you will need to farm 
Way lots of planets with item level 25 to reach the next reputation rank. Okay, so I actually need to farm the other ones. I just did this to show you. So let's go up the. Oh, perfect. The elevator is coming. Perfect. Whee! No one like. Yeah. You just get them. Like, and if you have the boon of Black Fathom, which you should have. It's not that far to run, actually. You just run to over here at this camp here. And it's very close. And then we just see what do we need. Okay, we need 12 rough copper bomb. Let's see how much that's going to cost us. Okay. Uh... Rough copper bomb. Okay, it's not that much. Let's buy. Oh, crap. Okay, we're gonna have to buy more. Then you just buy them out on the auction house. Let's see here. And then you click on it because we have them in the bag. We solve it. And it turns into this supply shipment. If you want to, like the. Waylight Supply Crater, like the box without uh, when it's not sold, it's a unique item. So, like, if you want to, you can go turn this in, or you can go back and do this again, and they will stack. Or it might actually not stack; it might be an, uh, like a different one, like one more slot. But you can do that if you want to. Then you just turn it in, and you will get the the reputation for it i did not get it because i'm friendly already and i'm going to show you why you want to get it to friendly so depending on which class you play you'll get different runes so for example the you will get the arcane search for mage serpent spread for hunters you'll get the single-minded fury for warriors which is very good to have you will get the everlasting uh, everlasting affliction for warlocks you will get healing rain for shamans you will get teasing for rogues which is the tanking rune you will get the uh, epiphany for priests and you get the beacon of light for paladin if you're alliance and skull bash for druids you will also be able to buy a 10 slot bag if you want to and you got these gloves, you got this this waist, and you got these boots. So yeah, that that is the, in my opinion, probably the fastest way to get to friendly with this faction. So I highly recommend you do that one. And there's usually not that many people doing it. And uh, yeah, I hope this video helped. Make sure to hit subscribe and like the video and all that bork. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, Bork.